Hey everyone, how's it going? Today, we're going to take a look at the new updates that Team Red Miner has been putting out to support dual mining ETH and Toncoin. Specifically, they have added now the ability for Polaris cards and Vega series cards to also do ETH and Ton. Now, the version I'm running right now, and today is Monday, February 21st, 2022, for reference on this video. I am still running 0.922. Hive OS hasn't released 0.9.3, which is their newest version, which also added Polaris card support for the dual mining. That will probably come on Hive OS in the next day or two. But I actually just sold the last of my Polaris cards, so I can't test that anymore. But I do have a full Vega rig and some 5,000 and 6,000 series AMD cards that I can also show you as well. So... If we look at my Vega rig right now, you can see each one, normally without dual mining, I get like 55, actually pretty much that same hash rate uh, on my Vegas that have Samsung memory and about 52 and a half on my Hynix ones. The FE, yeah, that's about all you're ever going to get out of that card. I hate that card. <laughs> now you can see on the cores, they're fairly strong. Remember, some of these are Vega 64s that have been flashed down to Vega 56 for efficiency reasons. So anything that's flashed Vega 56, like pretty much all of these cards, is getting around 1.1 giga hash on Ton, except for the Vega FE, which is still a essentially a Vega 64. So that's why it has a bit more of a jump in the hash rate for Ton. It's got a few more cores available for it. Now... Always remember when you're dual mining, whether it be an NVIDIA LHR card or even AMD, non-LHR, well, all AMD is non-LHR, but NVIDIA non-LHR and AMD cards, anytime you're dual mining, number one, Ethereum uses a lot of memory bandwidth. It doesn't use a lot of core, so that's why it's usually very efficient. Now, dual mining with Toncoin or even if you're doing a Lefium, they're very core dependent, so you need the extra wattage because now the core is doing a lot of work. So originally up here, and this is in an OctoMiner case, so this is true wattage representation here, even though it's an AMD rig. Normally I will pull about 1,400 watts just doing straight Ethereum. Now that I'm dual mining, I'm at 1,846 watts, so almost 450 watts more power. you got to make sure you your power budget is set it's sort of like switching your cards from ethereum to ravencoin you got to make sure you have the correct connectors on your gpus you have budgeted the amount of ac power that you're going to use so keep that in mind before you try this now technically i'm actually triple mining right now i'm mining directly to an easel pool which does the automatic switching between ethereum and zillica mining now you can still do um, split mining. If you want to mine Ethereum, say, to Ethermine and then use Easel just for the Zillica part of it, you can still do that. Uh, if we look at the flight sheet for this, um, I'm still using, at least for Zillica, the Ethereum address dot Zillica address. Um, going directly to Easel, and if we go in here a little easier, set up miner, regular ET hash, wallet worker name, regular stratum, Password. Here's where you add in your Ton or even your Zillica part if you're going to do um, separ separated mining of Ethereum and Zillica. You can actually do this as well. But for here, it's Ton, your Stratum, my Ethereum address. Oh, no, sorry. My um, Ton address, the worker name, password X, ton end, and I also force my cards to run in config A instead of B. It seems to be a little more stable for me, especially on the Vegas. Now, if you also wanted to do the switch uh, mining, you would also do a dash dash zil, which if you go over to their documentation, you can see here it's the same deal, dash dash zil, zero stratum, and you would just add this on after the ton or before whichever and add this part in here, and you can still triple mine without having to do everything through Easel. And if we go back into their documents, they also have right here dual ETH mining, and you can see they literally just updated it three hours ago. And this 
will give you the information for the dash dash ton information you need. So definitely reference this documentation. Should also be included in your download for release. It should be in here. Let's find out real quick. Um, I'm on Linux, but I'll download the win real quick just to see. Yep, there's a dual ETH and dual ZIL. So when you download the latest release, you will have these text files and you can reference them. So you've seen my Vega rig. Let's switch over to another Octaminer that has two 5000 and two 6000 series cards. Now this rig, as you can see, has two 5500 XTs and two 6600 XTs. And they are doing the same thing, still running on Team Redminer 0922. And that's about right for the hash rates. Again, I'm not really getting much hash rate drop at all on Ethereum. I am definitely pulling probably an extra, since these are low power cards, an extra 75 watts than what it normally would be if I was just single mining Ethereum. But I love the fact, look at the 6600 XT. Look how strong their core is on that. And this is a budget card. It's not like the big flagship Vega card. So... It's amazing how much it's gone from the Vega series to 5,000 to 6,000 series. I'm sure you get two to four, maybe even five giga hash if you had like an AMD 6,800, 6,800 XT, 6,900 XT. I don't have that type of money, so we're not going to find that out for me. And again, even here, the flight sheet is the exact same thing, basically. The only thing I changed, of course, is the... Um, worker name for the Tom pool that I'm using. Now, I am using Ice Mining pull there are a few pulls that team red miner supports they did in version 093 add ton pull uh ton mining dot text for details hold on let me get that up here okay so as of the date of making this video they support ice mining which is the one i'm using you don't have to use the same one it's up to you ton coin pool Whales Ton Pool and just regular Ton Pool. So they support those four pools. And you probably good to have a quick read through here before you start doing dual mining. I also personally like using ice mining because if you haven't started mining Ton Coin yet, you don't have to go through all the junk of having to go through Telegram. Get your account set up, register your address like the when this first started. You don't have to do that with ice mining. It just works, and they pay you out once a day. So there you go. I shielded them for five seconds. So that's all I really wanted to share with you today. I wanted to make this available for the AMD GPU mining guys. Uh, this is a very good option. Remember, ton coin mining is not going to be forever. It's probably only going to be around for three, six, maybe eight months on the long term at most. So... At least in my instance, I want to get as much of it as I can right now because you won't get it later. So thanks for watching. Go ahead and leave a comment down below, please. It helps with the algorithm, all that crazy stuff. Come say hi over in Mining Misfits Discord. Link for that will be down in the video description. And I will catch you in the next video.